Hello there. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn about the form validation in JavaScript. So, what is form validation? Well, form validation is checking inputs like name, email, and password before submitting. We need to check that all the fields are correct, all the input that the user has made are correct, and according to that, we submit that particular input to the server side. Right? So, good validation improves user experience and prevent the invalid data. Now, let's create an example or a form and show you that how the validation is done. So here I have made the HTML part already done. You just need to focus and see that how it is looking. So here I'm having a form tag whose ID is sign up form and the input three different inputs, right? The first one is name and the placeholder is full name. Second is for email. Third is for password, right? And put the type as password. Now coming forward, I'm also having a button which is a sign up button and its type is submit. So when I click on it, the form gets submitted, right? And the page get reloaded now after that i'm having a paragraph whose color is red fine now come coming up to the script.js now we will put the javascript part attached to it so that we can make the functioning proper let's start now the javascript part we will first write the const form equals to and we will write document dot get element by id and after that we will take the element that is present here your form right so this sign up form as you can see here, we are going to take that so let's write the sign up form again a const error message for that we will write document dot get element by id and we will take that paragraph right so that ID was what error fine right now coming forward we will add a event listener to the form that is form dot add event listener and on it we will first make the submit after that we will write the function function e and inside of this we will write e dot prevent default and after that we'll write const name equals to document dot get element by id and as you can see i was having the name right so as you can see here this name so its id was name so we are going to take that input and we'll say the id as name and trim the value right trim whatever extra spaces that the user gave into the input for that we will write the trim like this now let's just copy and paste this for the password and email also like this now let's name it email and name it sorry password like this right now coming forward and now we will put all the condition that we want in our basically in our form right so for that first we will deal with the name so if name dot length is less than let's say three error message error message what sorry msg error message dot inner text question you do what you saw it that say that name must be at least three correct right like this so this was the condition for your name right now similarly for the email if you want to do is basically for that we take two different things that is first that the email should contain at the rate and email should contain dot right so that it can take you to some domain right so uh, first we will check what that email dot includes bracket inside of this we will write 
at the rate like this right and after that the second condition is or if email do not includes dot like this in that particular case you do what you say let me write the same error message dot text corrector as email is not valid like this now similarly for the password if password dot length is less than six in that particular case we'll say error message dot inner and not html inner text equals to like we can say that let me write the same pa password must be at least six correct right like this and in all the three condition if the error comes in that particular case you do what you just return right so do the same with all like this right so we have written three different conditions and this is basically what the validation work is right and after that if it is a success in that particular case error message dot inner text equals to blank again it is blank when every error has been resolved by the user right and you do what alert form looks good submit it right so we will say that form looks good submitting fine now this is what our condition is as you have you can see right so these three are for the error case and the last one is for the success case in the success case in case there is no such error right so this particular thing will run where the inner text will become again blank and when you submit the form it will give a alert right like this so let's check that whether it is working correctly or not so let's go to the sorry let's go to the our website and you can see here i'm having full name email address password and sign up button right for the ui part you i think that you can do it at your own right uh let's write anything here uh, anything gmail.com at the rate anything i'm just writing it randomly right and for the password uh if i write uh, um, anything like random just right so if everything is correct here right so if i click on sign up you can see i am getting an alert that is form looks good and it's submitting right now in case if the something is wrong like the at the rate is not present in that particular case and even dot com is also not present in that particular case if you could go to the sign up you can see the email is not valid right if you put the dot here and not at the rate even in that condition also you are getting email is not valid valid let me put the password as up to the three length only and give it at the rate right in that particular case you can see password must be at least six characters so i'm getting the form and the form is not getting submitted right i'm getting the error part but the form is not getting submitted this is all because all the validation that we put into our javascript part so this is how we make the form validation in javascript i hope you understood the concept very clearly this is how it works right so implement it by yourself and if you feel any kind of problem you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching we will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye